बहुत ही एक्साइटिंग शोज मुझे लगते हैं जिसमें फिल्म आ जाती हैं यू वर्क विद प्रकाश झा संजय लीला बंसाली केन घोष रोहित धवन पी वी आर पिक्चर्स दिस क्राफ्ट अनिल शर्मा एकता कपूर टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया हिंदुस्तान आई मूव टू बॉम्बे and uh, then i've had a cross functional experience uh, doing production assisting uh, you know in direction and being a creative uh, from films to web shows and uh, i've been fortunate uh, that uh, all big names gave me an opportunity to uh, work with them and i could associate with uh, you know the kind of people <laughs> that uh, you know uh, are there in the uh, profile uh, thankfully बहुत ही एक्साइटिंग शोज मुझे लगते हैं जिसमें फिल्म आ जाती हैं एंड टुडे वी हैव समवन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑन आर शो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू राबा राशि पॉडकास्ट बहुत ही सुंदर है एंड सुपर टैलेंटेड है शी इज प्रमीरा इन शॉर्ट बताती हूँ शी इज अ फिल्म प्रोड्यूसर शी इज एक्चुअली अ फिल्म प्रोड्यूसर अ स्टेज एक्टर ऑल्सो अ सिंगर and uh, they are running this production house which is known as ramify entertainment specialist into the media and entertainment industry she's come all the way from bombay and i'm super excited to host her today aapka bahut bahut swagat hai hi <laughs> okay to start with ramida i want you to tell all our listeners about you your journey how you started and uh, i believe You worked with Prakash Jha, Sanjay Leela Bansali, Ken Ghosh, Rohit Dhawan, P V R Pictures, This Craft, Anil Sharma, Ekta Kapoor, Times of India, Hindustan Times, and okay. that is just wow. Let's hear. You have uh, all the information and in details, I must say, and uh, so. Uh, the journey has been a uh, little uh, non linear uh, my uh, I, i used to write features for uh, hindustan times while i was studying in delhi uh, while i was doing my graduation in mass communication uh, from delhi university then uh, i did my post grad from pune and there also i was writing uh, entertainment features with times of india so that's my print uh, stint and uh, after which uh, i moved uh, to bombay and uh, then i've had a cross functional experience uh, doing production assisting uh, you know in direction and being a creative uh, from films to web shows and uh, i've been fortunate uh, that uh, all big names gave me an opportunity to uh, work with them and i could associate with uh, you know the kind of people <laughs> that uh, you know uh, are there in the uh profile uh thankfully so that's it you were a stage actor and then you know your transition to uh being a producer and then a consultant and now an entrepreneur so asaan nahi hoga so let's start with your challenges and the solutions you gave to those challenges so uh it's a i would say it's a very special uh, interview today because we are two women and i'm sitting with another women a woman uh, entrepreneur and we have we have many things in common we even have an have a ra in common <laughs> <laughs> rashi and ramira and uh, asan kuch nahi hota and uh, i mean i was uh, brought up in a way where uh, i never thought that uh, you know it's not easy for women or it's not easy for men it's uh, just your own journey that everybody is on and uh, so i was uh, doing a lot of theater and uh, i was a stage actor and a dancer we used to do a lot of dance dramas till the time i was in delhi in uh, and in fact even in pune uh, so uh, here uh, in a chance encounter i met uh, mr yash chopra and uh, i would say that uh, i never met a man <laughs> with such a big heart and uh, you know he was so sweet to have uh, two minutes of conversation with me and that time he gave me his card and he told me that why don't you call me tomorrow 
and I was just a college kid and I was like, uh, is it for real? And uh, but I ended up calling him and uh, rest is history. I uh, first office I visited was uh, YRF uh, in Mumbai and he invited me and uh, there were five, seven uh, people in YRF who welcomed me. And uh, but it was more uh, like a missed opportunity, but it gave me kind of a glimpse of, uh, you know, uh, what was happening. And it was a new studio that they had made that time uh, from a production house to studio. It was their uh, new innings, I would say. And uh, that time there was a gentleman uh, there called uh, Mr. Ashish Singh, who offered me, uh, you know, uh, to do production and learn with them. But by then I was not uh, really sure of uh, what exactly uh, I want to do. I was more keen to do direction and uh, I told him, you know, let me complete my studies as my uh, father always said that you complete your education and then do whatever. So I clear my snap and uh, I went to Pune to complete my postgrad uh, from Symbiosis. But after that, again, coming to Mumbai and working with all other people. So that's the transition and uh, also I thought after visiting them that, you know, let me understand the business first because they offering me production and I had no clue of what it is. So, uh, yeah, that was the... You know, you're absolutely pretty. And, <laughs> and it's, it's not about just having Thank a pretty you. face. It's, it's more about your body language, your vibe. You know, everything is very positive and beautiful. Never tried acting. Uh, the initial stint where uh, Yashji yes, met me was that. But I, like I said, it was a missed opportunity. And uh, after, uh, you know, a bit, I did explore uh, certain avenues. But to realize that it might not be my cup of tea. Like uh, I mentioned this earlier also to various people that, you know, you might be, uh, you know, passionate about singing or acting. But when you actually do it in the professional, so to say, uh, sense, it's not necessary that you will like it. And uh, that's about it. Like when I used to do dance dramas, I used to be on stage. And as the common people, what we see, we think this is the world. But, uh, you know, a natural progression after that is people do direct plays, people do various other things. So fortunately, I could uh, learn various other skills uh, with people on job and otherwise also education uh, taught me a lot. And it sort of kept me grounded. And I felt that uh, this will be a more better and uh, bigger opportunity to, you know, direct and produce. That will suit me better with the kind of person I am. I understand that, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, when you don't grab certain opportunities, they lead to better opportunities. I understand that. But you tell me something, Amira, that what you, today, you know, you've been into the industry, you've worked with the top direct, you know, the director, you've, you've actually experienced the film industry under the hacker, and you, you were an outsider, you know, you were like, you were very raw when you actually entered the industry. So, uh, tell us the real thing. क्या है इंडस्ट्री का मतलब सच्चाई क्या है लोगों को इतना आसान लगता है डू यू हैव अ गुरु इन द इंडस्ट्री टुडे आई थिंक फॉर हु एवर हु वांट्स टू गेट इनटू द इंडस्ट्री इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस माय एक्सपीरियंस व्हिच इज एक्सक्लूसिव टू मी आई डोंट थिंक इट्स एन इंडस्ट्री इंडस्ट्री दीस आर बुटीक you know, production houses or boutique content making uh, studios or, or offices mm -hmm. or so uh, you need to have an individual bond with everyone. It's not that you did one project and you think you've arrived and it's not also what it looks, uh, you know, on the face of it. So uh, the correct way is to you know, do the ground research uh, before you finally take the plunge. Like mine was completely unplanned. Uh, till now, I can't understand if I would have taken production with uh, YRF, it would have been better <laughs> instead of, uh, you know, going through another route. Or the other route for me is better. I, I mean, I do believe whatever happens, happens for the best. But, uh, you know, uh, just thinking that, you know, oh, I am passionate and uh, this is what I want to do and I'll get it next day is uh, 
not what it is yeah and uh, there are a lot of hurdles because uh, our education system doesn't uh, tell us or uh, you know the people who will meet you and connect you with people will not tell you the hurdles that you might face uh, while you are on your journey and so better is to take baby steps rather than jumping and you know fall that fall is also very uh, hard then so uh, that's what i would say so so what exactly has been your approach attitude dealing with so many different production houses you are just in the industry you're doing fairly well quite successful over the years so what is that one you know uh, mantra that you follow uh, when you talk about approach and attitude uh there is no mantra uh, in vedas mantras are to keep us safe so there's no fixed <laughs> mantra <laughs> but uh, um uh you know it depends on how you maintain relations or how you connect with people it depends on the person that you are personally uh, there are people i know who have just uh, you know made two friends in the industry the friends grew big, uh, big and these people automatically grew big but they were not very social and the kind of person i am i usually connect uh, on a personal level uh, with people then i help them out i have a helping nature that has kept my relations intact uh, till now i've added value uh, to uh, whoever person i have met with guided them correctly if needed so this all uh, was inbuilt in me uh, you know the way you grow up it all it's all that plus it's very very personal so i'm a people's person and the skill also that i'm <laughs> now uh i've over the time developed is people uh, you know management and relationships and so i'm i'm naturally good at it i would say so there was no approach but uh, you figure yourself out eventually and you figure it out eventually amidst the chaos so i think that is a great takeaway from this conversation right now is that you should one should know how to manage people and i think all kinds of entrepreneurship is only about managing how you manage people and i think this is a great point amira i want you to share some lighter moments with us you your experiences with different kind of directors producing different kind of movies being involved with different kind of projects like i said with uh, yash ji he's a man with very big heart though i never got an opportunity to so to say work with him and uh, with a very helping nature uh another person that i've related to the most and uh, you know i've worked i think the longest with him is mr prakash jha and uh, from him i have learned uh, professionalism and uh, how much is needed and where to cut off and you know don't go overboard extra don't take extra number of days to shoot and all of that he knows exactly what to do and when to finish and he's on time everywhere so that's one thing another uh, person that i've connected to artistically but i've worked for a very short duration with him is mr sanjeelila bansali uh he is a artist in the true sense of it and uh, uh he is that kind of a person if he goes by the vibe if he doesn't like you then he will still work with you but keep a distance if he likes you then he will go overboard <laughs> to take care of you so i was one of the fo uh, few fortunate uh, people who were taken care of till the time uh, i was with him and that's the reason we have kept meeting on and off again and again and uh, then i've also worked with uh, uh, like my first stint was a uh, like one schedule on uh, kane ghosh's film that time called chance pe dance and uh, there about ken uh, he's a very young person within the uh, you know he is the example of that age is just a number mm -hmm. and uh, so is so was his content in the time uh, he was doing films but at the same time the kind of team that he had built around him like the two uh, production people that i worked with they were amazing people after that wherever i worked i've never seen such a team uh, you know and uh, i've learned a lot from them so they were uh, mr khamkar who uh, you know was managing everything like like a you know i have not seen a production like that uh, after that so that's that 
uh, but i would uh, specially mention a life changing experience uh, um, i mean working with pvr pictures is what i call a life uh, changing experience for me because as a creative uh, creative i was when i was in delhi when i was in pune so you know hum creative log hum aisa sochte hain ki hum chand tare tod layenge to tod layenge but uh, while working with pvr pictures into a distribution profile is what i cherish the most and it gave me uh, what you call a grounding to the whole situation made me understand the business part of it otherwise uh, like a normal creative or a normal assistant will not understand uh, will not have that kind of understanding of what content will work what will not work how to twist things to uh, you know um, how to learn sales how to negotiate how to uh, you know sit there and figure out what artwork what marketing will work so that was actually a life changing experience though for me that also was unplanned and uh, that's that <laughs> so i want to add to this ki uh, i think she wants to say ki hum chand tare chand tare tod nahi layenge hum khud hi chand tare hain aur jo humse judta hai wo waise hi bahut suhana ho jata hai that's what wow. i believe in and i think that's how we are growing and that's why we are successful there is no ego in this but of course we are thankful to god lekin uh, of course ek scale up to karna padta hai uske <laughs> liye <laughs> उसके बिना कैसे होगा ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट आई बिलीव इन एंड आई थिंक इट्स एब्सोल्युटली फनी एंड बट दिस इज द रियलिटी कि हम खुद ही जानकारी हैं हम खुद ही सब कुछ हैं एंड दिस इज वंडरफुल ओके रमीरा आई वांट यू टू टेल अस दैट हैव यू बीन क्लोज टू एनी ऑफ द फिल्म स्टार्स ऑफ कोर्स आई अंडरस्टैंड डायरेक्टर्स बट एनी लाइटर मोमेंट्स विद सम मूवी स्टार्स सम ब्यूटीफुल एक्ट्रेसेस uh most of the stars that i worked with uh, has been on projects that i've been doing and uh, like i said i'm a, a person that lights up uh, the place so actors connect to me naturally and i've had very good uh, conversations with uh, many people that i worked with whether it's uh, saif ali khan sunny deol bobby deol uh shahid kapoor that time and uh, so uh yeah but uh, you know we all are professionals and uh, we don't go sort of i don't go beyond and uh, so whenever there's work we do exchange messages and we do uh, chat about it but uh, it's not uh, that i'm uh, i can say that i'm very close to uh, any of the stars in fact the earlier question that you asked do i have a mentor for a very long time uh, being an outsider here i would say that i kept looking for a mentor but uh, i think uh, god was mentoring me in a very different fashion to understand the whole business if i would have got one mentor i would have been doing just that like there are people doing just one thing all their life i would have just stopped there maybe so i didn't get a mentor and i didn't like it back then but now i think it all makes sense so i would not say i'm very close as such to uh, people but these relationships are uh, you know rooted and till where they should be absolutely wonderful okay uh, just let's leave leave apart the film industry you guys the the ramify entertainment is one of the best companies into the media and entertainment industry Tell us about some other projects and some brands you work with. So we are uh, अभी तो हमने uh, start किया है. Okay. तो अभी आप और हमारा काम देखेंगे. After which I can use the uh, statement if uh, that fits. So uh, you know, right now we are looking at uh, funding uh, within the company and funding projects. Uh, we have certain number of projects uh, that we are looking uh, to produce. at the same time the vision is to produce and direct in my case because i have uh, the experience and we are looking at uh, certain uh, foreign collaborations and uh, let's see where it goes uh, still figuring out the second step and uh, the correct project so i see you've been into the industry and your experience over the years i want you to share with all our listeners and viewers what is your future plan and where are you heading to let's see so the uh, future is to create content that is uh, sustainable and showcases a culture 
and also uh, one more thing we would want to add uh, would be audience interaction uh, in the making of that content uh, like uh, for example i was uh, thinking for the next project uh, which is fiction to uh, write it till the climax and then let the audience decide what can be the ending and we can shoot both the endings and you know take it from there so uh, to innovate in that sense and uh, the impact that uh, we would want to have on uh, mne uh, sector would be uh, you know uh, when somebody like let's talk about uh, people layman, in layman uh, terms when somebody says that or even if today uh, kids tell their parents that we want to join the film industry the whole perception around it is very uh, mm. you know off the mm. track and uh, because it's disorganized and you know various other things that you hear and uh, so the impact that we would want to create is uh, we would want to be one company that is transparently working guiding helping consulting people so that uh, you know people more new people who are coming are in the right hands and not they are not going haywire and there is correct uh, amount of work generated for them and it's socially relevant also so you just rightly put ki jaise kisi ko pata chalta hai kisi parent ko ki hamara bachcha film industry mein jana chahta hai i think the first feeling they get is ki why does he want to struggle so but see i think if you're doing entrepreneurship also there is a lot of struggle uh, there कोई भी चीज़ आसान नहीं होती है हाँ दिखती ज़रूर सुंदर है पर आसान कुछ नहीं होता है एंड ऑन दैट यू नो नोट आई वुड वांट यू टू टेल अस हाउ डू यू स्टे स्ट्रेस फ्री इतने सुंदर कैसे रह लेते हो द इट्स नॉट द आउटसाइड ब्यूटी आई थिंक इट्स द इनर ब्यूटी दैट कम्स आउट बिकॉज आई हैव केप्ट माई लाइफ वेरी सिंपल इन एन अदरवाइज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वर्ल्ड एंड वेर where i am working it it is even more complicated i have had a very spiritual bent of mind so uh, you know when i detach from the situation and look at things uh, from a third perspective everything seems to fall in place so that has kept me afloat so and uh, you know you help people you give people uh, that's the best love that uh, you know you can receive also later so uh, i want you to share with all our viewers what was the real purpose and why did you get into you know this particular production company that you've made ramify entertainment uh well after more than a decade of working uh, in the industry um uh, i felt uh, in the starting only i had made uh, good contacts and you know good relationships and i was knowing many people not all but many people so uh, i thought uh, just to put all the experience in one line and uh, you know uh, for financial uh, potential that i saw in the business uh, otherwise what was happening was my networks i was adding value to other people and uh, more profits they were reaping so i thought why not now channelize it and you know create more work opportunities and make a company where we can create our own ips and be relevant and do the kind of content we have always wanted to produce have the creative control and uh, hence i thought it's the right time to you know go solo so uh, what are the different kind of services you're offering into this production company that you've made so uh, from uh, start to end everything technically uh, from identifying a script or an idea to developing the script to uh, you know pitching and uh, you know aligning it with platforms getting a director on board creating the project with actors on board technicians on board producing it and uh, taking it to theaters and yeah okay so what is your that valuable message to all the brands and all the people who are looking to be associated with the industry let's hear a message to the brands would be that uh, uh, you know you guys already are uh, you know uh, a corporate uh, setup and uh, you do have uh, you know deadlines and start to end uh, correct expectations in terms of uh, how much is being spent and what deliveries you want and what timings but do give a little uh, you know freedom to us who are also creative and uh, would want to add our personal touch to uh, the whole uh, product 
and when people start new work and with lot of experience they definitely add a lot of new flavor to the work so that is a very valid point and to be taken into consideration and i think with ramifa entertainment they are they are they've got the new flavor to all the kind of production services they are offering we just spoke about you seeking funding now what kind of investors or what kind of uh, you know um, investment opportunities you are looking at uh well uh you know there are various ways to look at this uh one is that uh, somebody wants to uh, enter into our film business they already have those plans so if uh, you know they want to align with somebody who has experience so uh, we don't mind uh, you know sitting with them consulting and you know figuring out if there is an alignment there another thing is that uh, certain times uh, i meet people who want to do a certain kind of project they have certain things in mind so we can curate a project so it can be a project funding and uh, the other project funding can be that we already have certain uh, projects in our uh, kitty and uh, so those for those we are already looking uh, for funding and uh, these should be people who uh, you know have uh, so to say a creative bent of mind apart from uh, you know looking at profits because profits will come uh if uh, you know we are going in the right direction so absolutely right because we are also running a production house and i totally understand there's a lot of creative work that goes in and a lot of positive work that goes in you know and uh, i think it is value to money value for money when you hire a production house for your own creative work so get in touch with ramira she is her details her email id is available on the podcast and on the post. Meera, thank you so much for having me here.